Okay, so there will definitely be a problem on the midterm dealing with the density measurements. And so I just want to take a few minutes to talk about uh, the data we collected and what, you know, would be a reasonable way to work with that data to make some sense out of it. Because you guys collect a lot of numbers, I collect a lot of numbers. One big aspect of science and numeracy, which is, you know, the equivalent of literacy or quantitative literacy, is the ability to know how to take a lot of numbers and make some sense out of them. Because numbers by themselves, you know, don't tell us anything unless we can, we can make some sense out of them. So there are two data files up in, the, uh, up in our course environment under the geology tab. We actually did the, um, the extended rock lab on the day that was scheduled to be for the crustal dichotomy topic. So if you look under that uh, section on the geology uh, tab and of course you'll see these two PDFs. Um, the your you guys' data and, and my data. Okay. So here's uh, here's what these data look like, remember. So what did we do in lab? Measured things. Measured. We didn't actually measure the density of the rocks. What did we actually measure? We measured the volume by how much water an individual rock sample displaced. And what else did we measure? The mass. The weight of the rock. Okay. So if you have the mass of the rock, piece of little piece of rock, and you've got the volume, you can calculate the density. And we did what kind of rocks? Igneous rocks, including granite, granite rhyolite, 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 andesite, basalt, andesite, basalt diorite, diorite, gabbro. Okay, so six rock types. Uh, you can go back in your notes. Some of them are felsic rocks. Some of them are mafic rocks. Some of them are intermediate. You'll want to know what that what those terms mean. Some of them are intrusive or magmatic rocks. Some are extrusive or, or um, rocks that crystallized out of lava. Okay, so uh, granite, for example, uh, felsic or mafic? Ah, something to ask on the quiz. Did, does granite form underground or on the surface? Underground. underground. And how do you tell? <laughs> big crystals. Okay. Rocks that form underground have big crystals because they cool more slowly, more time for the crystals to form. Basalt, rhyolite, andesite uh, crystallize from lava above ground. They cool off very quickly. There's no time for large crystals to grow. So if you, you look at a piece of basalt, it's all very fine-grained. You don't see, you know, large crystal structures. Okay, so we have, uh, let's just look at the granite data here. For, well, first of all, how many granite samples did I measure? Six. Six. So, sample size which is oftentimes referred to as n, is equal to 6. So for these six samples of rock, how would I figure out what the density or specific gravity for each of them would be? This first rock weighed 81.72 grams, and it displaced 31.67 grams of water. What's its density? Somebody bring out a phone with a calculator and figure it out. How do you figure it out? Weight divided by the volume. Okay, so the mass divided by the volume, and we're using the weight of the water as a measure for volume. So in this case, it would be what divided by what? Okay. 2.50.
Okay. And uh, somebody do the next one, and we'll do a, a couple of these. 59 divided by 21. What? 2.71. 105 divided by 38. One hundred five point one nine divided by thirty eight point nine one. How much? Two point seven. Two point seven what? Okay. And we have essentially two significant figures on the measurements of the density of the mass and the volume. So you, when you divide these out, you would get two point seven zero three. You know, blah 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 blah. You really should only take that to, again, two significant figures. Um, 63.54 divided by 20.77. 3.06. Okay, 3.06 rounded up. Maybe a one more. 64.55 divided by 24.81. 2.60. Okay. And you could do the the sixth one as well. Now, um, so I've got these, these are actually the density measures, the density, the calculated densities for these samples. How would I come up with a mean density for granite based on these results? Okay, so we've got the mean or is what you normally think of as the arithmetic average. You can add them all up, divide by the number, and somebody quickly do that for the five. We'll, we'll, we'll just assume I did five. program that they have installed on the instructor station computer that acts like an Apple TV unit, so I don't have to bring my own Apple TV unit. And after five months, they finally changed the Wi-Fi settings on the campus wireless network so that my tablet can actually talk to the instructor station over the Wi-Fi. So I am a happy camper. Do we have a mean yet, Colin? 2.73. Okay, so that, that would give us a measurement of our best guess for the density. If someone came up to you on the street and asked you, what's the density of granite? You would say, well, my best guess is it's 2.73 grams per cubic centimeter, grams per mil. Because, you know, granite's a cool rock, right? Granite countertops, you yeah. know. Now, there are, there are other measures. So the mean, then, is a measure of the central tendency. I mean, clearly, not all of these values were 2.73. We have 3.06. We've got 2.58. And so by taking multiple measurements and averaging them together, we get a more central measurement of what we think the real, true, in some sense, uh, density of granite is. But there's another measurement of central, there are a couple of other measurements of central tendency, but the only one I'm going to um, ask you to look at is the median. Uh, and the median is when you've got a list of numbers, if you've got an odd number of numbers, the median would be the value that is in the center. So if we order this, our values are 2.58. 2.60, 2.7, 2.71, 3.06. So 2.70 here would be the median, which in this case agrees pretty well with the mean. And so that gives us more confidence, that, confidence about that. Now what's the range of values that we... 2.58 to 3.06. 2.58 to 3.06. The range gives you some idea of how variable your measurements were. 
It's not the best measure. There are other things like standard deviation and standard error, but this is not a statistics class, so I'm not going to try to get all of you to go through that. But uh, you know, if if you if you can report for the data here, you know what's the uh, uh, what's the n? What's the sample size? Number of samples analyzed? What's the mean? What's the median? What's the range? You'll have a good way of characterizing, turning these numbers into some meaningful statements about granite and about rhyolite and about you know these others.